recording the blog, Dennis on the Road. So this is really my first recording. I'm here at the house today. Just got me a load booked to go down to Mississippi. I'm going to pick up a load of beer here in Columbus. Paying really good. The rates are up high. Super Bowl weekend, so the people in Mississippi need their beer. So then I'll go back up to northern Pennsylvania and uh, pick up a backhaul. Coming back home, I'll be back up here Saturday and uh, be home in time to watch the Super Bowl myself and then deliver Monday morning. But uh, the company I'm leased to, uh, Landstar, we're able to get on the computer, book our own loads, and uh, that's one of the nice things that I like about this because I can book myself ahead what I want to do, and if I need to be home, I can I can get home real easy. I don't have to worry about a dispatcher saying, well, we got freight to haul someplace else. So that's the main reason I like being leased to this company. But right now, I'm just waiting to get the rest of my load information. I've got the information for my load coming back up from Mississippi back to Columbus. But I'm just waiting for the bill 80 numbers, pickup number and all that to go pick up my beer at Anheuser-Busch and uh, go get it loaded and uh, head on down to Mississippi, get out of this cold. It's four degrees right now. I've been home all week, kind of helped the wife around the house. Uh, so it's time for me to get back to work and make a little bit of money. As this blog goes on, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, uh, how I got into trucking, and uh, why it has been a good career for me, uh, along with a, a long Air Force career. They all kind of intertwined what I was doing. So, as we go, we'll, you know, you'll learn more about me, and uh, you know, I'll try to give some advice on drivers wanting to become owner operators. You know, things to look out for and as you go through the process to become an owner operator. And, uh, I hope it helps you. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot from a lot of the drivers out there on the road because uh, you, you can never stop learning. And when you do stop learning, it's time to get off the road. So uh, the new drivers teach me a lot. The old drivers teach me a lot. So, I mean, it's, even though I've been out here for 36 years now, you're always learning something.